Hey there my fellow designers and creatives, hope you're all doing well. This is Chetan here from Design Palette and I'm back again today with a very new exciting tutorial because in today's tutorial we are going to be learning to create a beautiful cinematic trailer title sequence using After Effects. Now if you have seen the movie trailer uh, of the movie Mowgli um, which is available on Netflix. Uh, you know the trailer is similar to what I've done. That's what inspired me to make it It's pretty simple and straightforward and also really cool. So uh, without any further ado, let's get started Alright guys, so here I'm in After Effects and this is the entire project, trailer project. You can download the project files for free, completely free, link will be in the description. You can get the entire trailer, but of course I won't be giving away the audio, but you know, uh, that shouldn't matter. Alright, so uh, let me quickly show you the trailer on Netflix and as you can see, uh, this is the trailer and uh, you know, it's got a really nice feel, the simple background, no particles, a little bit of glows, a little bit of light streaks coming off the letters and some optical flares. Uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. So um, let's see how to get this done in After Effects. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna composition and choose new composition. And I'm gonna call this tutorial uh, comp. All right, and uh, 1920 by 1080, 24 or 30 frames per second, doesn't matter whichever you want and uh, five uh, seconds long, I mean, uh, that's completely up to you. And yeah, so I'm clicking on, okay. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the text. So I'm gonna right click, go to new, and then choose, uh, sorry, text. Uh, now when you, when you create it like this, it centers the text over here, so you don't have to go ahead and then center it later. So I'm just gonna call this uh, title. I'm just gonna call it text actually, doesn't matter. All right, and I'm gonna go and uh, into the paragraph panel, I'm gonna center align it and um, go ahead and increase the size. So let's make it uh, pretty big or like so. You can use any font, I'm using Lato. All right, and uh, we can hold down control on your keyboard and double click on the pan behind tool to center the anchor point. And then we can go align and align it horizontally in the vertically center. Perfect. Uh, all right, I think uh, the character spacing, we could uh, reduce that down to zero. Yeah, that should be pretty good. All right, now I will be moving back and forth so I can copy a couple of settings. So let me go into scene one and then I'm gonna go into title animation and then we're gonna get into the text and yeah. So on the, on the uh, te text, uh, there is a color. So I'm just gonna copy this color and also an effect uh, bevel alpha. So let's come here to the tutorial comp. Uh, let's set this to be to this, you know, yellow color and then go to the effects and presets. Now, if you don't have it, you can click on window and then choose effects and presets. Uh, I'm just going to wait for this to load up and then I'm going to choose bevel alpha. Okay. Now you can definitely change the settings, but I think the settings I used was 1.5. 180 and 0 0.2. So I think I'm gonna set this to 0 0.4. I'm gonna set this to 1.5. All right, let's zoom in a little bit closer over here. And uh, negative 180, so the light is coming from the bottom. And uh, we can change it to a light yellow color text. And uh, probably light density, we can set that to one if you want it to be pretty bright. And uh, or let's actually 0 0.6 should do the trick. And uh, yeah, it looks uh, pretty good. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this, go to composition and uh, choose, oh sorry, layer and then choose pre-compose and we can call this text uh, placeholder and hit enter and we have our text placer over here. Awesome. So the next one is, as you can see, I've added some kind of a blur. So which is a, a radial blur. So to quickly show you that, I'm gonna select the text placeholder, press control D to duplicate it and I'm gonna call this Blur, so text place for the blur. I'm gonna use CC radial blur. All right, and uh, just double click to drop that on. And 
Uh, let's copy the settings. So 150 and 20. All right. So the type is going to be fading zoom amount 150 and the quality will be 20. And I'm going to set the quality of this to like third so we can see it better or at least half. Uh, and I'm going to set the uh, opacity of this to 20. So it's not that harsh. Probably you could increase up to 50 if you guys want it. I think uh, 30 is a good amount for me. So I'm going to stick to that. All right. And uh, make sure the uh, center is right at the center. So, you know, it's coming in from the center. Pretty cool. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate the main text placeholder and I'm going to call this a uh, mask. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in uh, a blood splatter effect. So if I kind of show you, you can see over here, there's kind of a little amount of blood, which is over here, just because of the fact that, you know, Mowgli is in a jungle and he's covered with the blood and all that kind of stuff. Uh, he gets a lot, hurt a lot. So anyway, I'm just going to go and open up the elements panel and have this uh, blood splatter uh, PNG. You can just get anyone over the internet. Uh, shouldn't be a problem to find. And I'm going to take this blood splatter and bring it on top. And as you can see, this is what we have. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and probably put it, uh, let's actually scale this down pretty much and just put it in a couple of places uh, like so. I think this is a good place. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to click on toggle switches and modes until I get the track mat selection. And then I'm going to go and choose alpha inverted mat. So basically you guys can't see anything, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide the bottom two layers. And over here, you can see that we have this kind of uh, an effect, but I'm gonna set this to alpha mat, and that's gonna select only the parts which the blood splatter is covering. So if I turn this on, you can see this is where the blood splatter is, and everything that the blood splatter is uh, you know, covering gets eliminated and everything else you know, kind of disappears. And uh, that's what we have. Now the reason the color is not being shown is because it's a yellow color. So I'm just gonna go and choose fill and drop that onto the text placeholder mask. And as you can see, it becomes red, but uh, let's make it a little dark, you know, like a good blood red and even probably reduce the opacity of this to like 60%. Uh, or actually, you know, let's, let's just leave it up to uh, 100% if uh, that's what you guys want. Um, right, yeah, I think that that's a pretty good color. Okay, okay, so now that's done, we can close up everything and uh, let's create a new text. So uh, I'm just gonna go layer, new text, and then I'm gonna call this subtitle. Uh, all right, and uh, we're gonna go and uh, set this to thin. All right, the subtitle, we're gonna set it to thin. Okay, and uh, uh, we're going to reduce down the size pretty much a bit and increase the spacing to 100 and uh, we can actually move this up. Let's actually make this uh, regular and the text, if I open this up, text placeholder, let's uh, make this a bolt. All right. Yeah. And let's get a little bit of spacing and I think that should be pretty good. Uh, let's come back over here and uh, sub. Okay. That's got a wrong spelling sub title all right and then i'm going to go ahead and pre-compose this by pressing ctrl shift c i'm going to call this subtitle placeholder and uh, then we're going to add in some glow so go to effects and presets and choose glow all right and uh, just uh, drop that on so you're going to get some glow and uh, there are a couple of settings that I use for the glow. Let me just uh, quickly get that. So 60, 65, one. Uh, so let's go back over here to the center placeholder. Oh, where was the glow? The glow was on here. Okay. So the glow radius, we're going to make that to 65. So it kind of, you know, stands out. So there you go, it's uh, sitting out. Maybe we could reduce the in increase the intensity to 1.5 uh, and to 45. Yeah, that's gonna make it stand out much more. Pretty cool. All right, and uh, let me just close off all the unnecessary ones. And uh, there you go. This is our entire text placeholder, uh, you know, composition. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little bit of animation. So I'm gonna come to the one second mark that is over here and I'm going to go to the text placeholder mask press T to get the opacity make a stock keyframe where I use this amount to zero 
let's come to say two minutes and 20 frames and set this to a hundred. All right, and we can uh, right click keyframe assistant and choose easy ease. And then let's uh, just uh, play this so we can see, you know, the uh, blood, uh, you know, coming on. All right, pretty good, that's pretty simple. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is uh, take the tutorial comp. Uh, where is the tutorial comp? And we're gonna put that into a new comp, which is going to be uh, tutorial comp two. And we can call this tutorial comp final, all right? And let's close up everything. And this is basically the scene. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna add in a solid. So I'm gonna to go to layer, new solid, and I'm gonna call this BG. And I'm gonna choose a dark purple kind of a color, uh, right? Magenta style and click on okay. And I'm gonna put that at the bottom, okay. The next thing I'm gonna do is uh, do some little text animation. So as you can see the text, I'm gonna come over here to the tutorial com final, uh, new, choose a null object. And I'm gonna call this text scale. And uh, let's see the keyframes for this, All right? So at uh, three seconds, all right. So at the beginning, I'm going to set a stopwatch for the text scale by pressing S. Uh, and then I'm gonna come to a three second mark and probably set this to 110. Let's set it to 110. All right, there we go. Now we don't see anything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go, come to the beginning, we're gonna select the tutorial comp and pick whip with the parent uh, link and put that under the scale. And now you should see that the text scaling in from the center, which looks pretty good. Now it's time for some lighting. So I'm gonna right click, go to new, and then choose a uh, solid. And I'm gonna call this optical flares. And I'm gonna call this optical flare left. All right, and I'm gonna go to the, uh, make sure that this is below the tutorial comp or actually on top. And we're gonna get in ourselves uh, optical flares and you know just uh, double click on that now optical flares of course is a paid plugin by from videocopilot.net but I'm sure that there are resources online where you can get it for free so I'm not gonna be talking about that so I'm gonna set the uh, blending mode of this to add and we are going to go to the options and uh, we're gonna choose some preset all right, with optical flares, you get only four sets of presets. That is the light, motion graphics, natural flares, and the lens objects. But I've got a couple of extra ones, which are the conspiracy presets, pro presets one, pro presets two, and the VE light presets. You can definitely use any one that you want, uh, but I think I'm gonna go with the conspiracy preset. Uh, I think that's uh, pretty good. Or actually, I can go for the pro presets two. I'm not, I don't remember which one I use, but we want to use a one which, you know, doesn't have too much of a thing going around. And uh, let's actually go to the conspiracy presets and pick up this FDA. Okay. And uh, what we want to do is we want to change the global color to this uh, pinkish color. And also we want to come over here and uh, set this to, you know, the dark uh, pinkish purple color. And yeah, that should be pretty good. We can also go ahead and add in ourselves a glint. So just a simple glint. And uh, we could uh, come over here and uh, change uh, the uh, thickness. Oh, no, it's not thickness. Uh, spacing random, uh, the length, the complexity. All right, uh, I think there should be one for shape orientation. All right. Um, all right, so the completion feathering, the completion and the completion rotation. Uh, all right, I think that's fine. And we could take this and move this over to the side. And I'm gonna come back over here to the text placeholder here. Uh, sorry, the tutorial comp the uh, text placeholder press T and I'm gonna set this to 20% opacity and probably set the quality to 30 and the amount to 120, all right? That should uh, make it look much better. All right, uh, another thing that we can do is we can go to the options and we can go to, uh, bring this down, we can go to the aspect ratio 
and we can just kind of uh, increase this up like so all right and uh, yep that should be pretty good now I'm also gonna go and add in a fast blur if we want to uh, oh, sorry Gaussian blur let's actually choose fast blur uh, fast box blur if you want to give a bit of uh, blurriness around uh, 10 pixels all right maybe 10 is too much so probably five a little bit of blur all right so you know or actually let's uh, set this to two all right and uh, that is looking uh, pretty good all right so let's go ahead and make a copy uh, or let's actually create a new solid and choose optical flares right all right and uh, let's go and choose uh, optical flares all right and uh, we're gonna set the blending mode of this to add again and uh, let's go and change it to a different let's try pro presets to glamour yeah i think this should be fine so let's actually move this over to the side all right and i'm gonna get rid of a couple of things because i think this is too much for me so uh we can hide the multi iris so all right so that goes away and uh, we can uh, hide this multi iris as well. Uh, we, want, we want that hoop. We don't want this, right? So a couple of things that we can just uh, keep deleting. Delete, uh, delete, all right? I think uh, that should be pretty good. Turn it down a bit. Perfect, all right? There we go. This is looking so cool already. And uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, get these uh, film aspect ratio bars. So uh, it's basically two solids that I, if I turn on transparency, it's basically two solids, black color solids that I have added at the bottom and at the top. So uh, we can copy this black bars and uh, just put it up on top of everything. So it kind of cuts off everything. Pretty interesting. I think the optical flares, I will uh, set this to uh, three or yeah, I think let's, let's set it to four, four right? And we could do the same thing for this one as well. Let's just copy this and we can come over and paste it on this. There we go. That's blurred out again. All right, so now let's animate the brightness and the scale of the optical flares. So now these settings will depend based on the type of optical flares you use and where you place it and stuff. But basically, uh, let's go to the left. I'm gonna press uh, the keyframe for the brightness. So I'm gonna press U to show the keyframes. I'm going to make this zero. And at 10 frames, I am going to increase it. So it's kind of pretty harsh. So, uh, you know, uh, probably uh, 300. And we can also increase the scale a bit. All right. So probably set this to 200. Let's create a keyframe for the scale as well. All right. And uh, we can come over here and uh, set this to uh, zero again. All right. And so I'm going to select these two. Right click, keyframe assistant, and then choose easy ease. Uh, and as you can see, the text brightens up. And at uh, three seconds, uh, we want this to uh, become, uh, uh, probably say something like uh, 65, or even probably less uh, to say something like 20, and uh, the scale to back to 100. And uh, yeah, that should be pretty good. So let's quickly take a look. All right, so I think the scale is a bit too much. So I'm gonna set this back to a hundred. All right, and uh, let's actually go select the optical flares and move that in over here. And uh, the brightness is a bit too much. So I'm gonna set this to like 200 and increase the scale up to like 300. Right, and the brightness, let's uh, set that back to 100 again. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much uh, good. So let's quickly play it again. And we can actually go and select these keyframes and we could make a curve like this. So it starts off fast and then it slowly uh, fades down to something like that. And uh, I think I'm going to set the brightness down to zero and the scale. Let's actually set the scale down to like 30. 
All right, and we just have a little bit of uh, thing going on over here. All right, uh, I think I can go to the options over here. Okay, now let's do the same thing for the right side. So let's uh, move to the right side. Uh, let's check out the keyframe. So at the beginning, we want the right side of the keyframes to be a zero and zero, and then at 10 frames, uh, the right side is going to be a little less aggressive. So probably the scale set to 50 and the brightness set to 50. All right. But actually, since uh, these two also blast up, we want to set this to 150 and set this to 100. All right. Uh, and then at the end, we want these to slow down. So to say something like 20 and 50. Oh, so let's uh, let's actually try 60 and uh, 60. Yeah, I think uh, that's pretty good. We can go ahead and ease out all this keyframe assistant and choose easy ease. And let's uh, check it out. All right. Oh, the next thing we want to do is um, we want to change the way the text appears. All right. So probably at the point where the text is at its peakest. Um, we want to create a keyframe for the tutorial comp. So let's go ahead and uh, get in a Gaussian blur. We're going to drop that on. We're going to set the blurriness of that to like 35. Okay. And also make a, a keyframe for the opacity. So press T, opacity, and then press U to show all the keyframes. All right, and uh, the opacity is this is going to be zero and 10 frames forward at uh, 20 frames You're going to set the blurriness back to zero and the opacity to a hundred All right, and of course we can right click keyframe assistant and choose easy ease and then you know move this over Somewhere over to the side All right, and you can obviously change the timing of the appearance of the blood That's completely up to you, but uh, you know, that's your call all right, so that's pretty much it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment sections down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content. And of course, you can download the project file for this in the description. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.